Uh, the first thing I thought, saw were some construction workers located um, right in this area. I'm not sure what they were doing, if they were water workers or what. On the, on the west side of the theater? Um, this is more of the, uh, the south, south. south side of the theater. I could see their um, orange and yellow um, vests, that type of thing. They were staring at the theater itself. Um, as soon as I got out, they saw me and were yelling about something was going on. Um, I deployed my rifle, told them to take cover, and moved immediately to the railing area. Now, when you say deployed your rifle, what do you mean? I, I took out my uh, AR-15, chambered around, turned on the optics, and came to the wall overlooking the rear of the theater. And turning on the optics? Turning my red light, or my red dot sight on. So you have your rifle out, you have the sight on, and what are you seeing? At this point, nothing. There's no activity for the most part in the back of the theater. There's a white car located in the first spot um, behind the theater. Um, they were airing information about uh, shooting in Theater 9. I had no idea which Theater 9 was at this point. I didn't know if it was backed up to this, if it was on the sides. I'm not really familiar with this theater. Okay. What did you see next? Um, noted the car, noted two other cars parked in the parking lot. Uh, there's a dumpster right here. I'm not sure what they were doing, some construction obviously, but it didn't block much of any of the parking lot, with the exception of exception of the alcove right in this area. Um, I stayed at that area, rifle deployed. Um, in about um, a minute to two, um, the construction workers started yelling that they believed someone had been shot, that there was a female shot, something along those lines. I uh, took my sights off the back of the lot, told them to have that party take cover, um, apply first aid, just stay down. At, at the point that they were telling you that they'd seen somebody, that somebody was shot, had you seen any people come outside of the theater? No, the back lot was completely empty. Um, I could see officers cutting across from Sable on foot, coming into the uh, south end, excuse me, the north end of the lot, working their way towards me to the south. What did you see next? When I came back on uh, site view, I noticed that uh, there was a, a person standing next to this white car. The door was open, and I uh, believed it was a SWAT officer. Why did due you to, think that? Due to his appearance, the gas mask, helmet, uh, black outfit. Um, didn't see any weapon per se, but I thought, how did the SWAT guy get here so quick? That seems strange to you? Very. What were the lighting conditions like behind the theater? Oh, very bright. All lit up, you could see everything. Uh, there are lights back there for the back of the theater, like most businesses, security lighting and parking lot lights. Now, at the point that you saw a person standing next to a, a white car, was there anybody else behind the theater? Two officers were located the other side of the vehicle. Um, two officers that had moved up from the uh, north end of the parking lot were obviously checking the back of the business also. And you were saying they're coming from the north end. So you, we, you pointed out on the map where the, the vehicle was, and then where were the officers in relationship to that? Directly to the north of that vehicle, maybe 20 to 30 yards at most. They were approaching the vehicle. They'd obviously seen this person. How were they approaching? Guns drawn. Um, they were giving commands, I believe, although from my distance I couldn't hear what they were. I then noted that the party uh, threw his arms up in the air. And the party, which, who, which party are you talking about? The gentleman in the black SWAT outfit, or what I thought was a SWAT outfit, who was standing by the open door of the white car. When you saw that, what did you think? I thought that's our suspect. There's 